Hello, everyone. Um, so we're starting uh, now on lesson 1-2, which is measuring and constructing segments. So our objective today is to use length and midpoint of a segment and also to construct midpoints of congruent segments. Now, um, what I would like to have you do before you continue with this video is pause it and open up your book because the rest of this whole page and the next page I would like for you to just copy out of the book, okay? So pause it right now and go ahead and copy it out of the book and then I'll be doing a few problems with you instead of going over this, okay? All right, so welcome back. Um, so today, if you, so uh, what I'd like for you to do is take out a separate piece of paper. We're going to be doing segment addition postulate and do some, do, we're going to do an example about that. And so here's the segment addition postulate. You already wrote it down in your notes um, on the note notebook. The uh, rule for segment addition postulate, once again, is if you have a segment that's divided into um, three separate parts or two separate parts here, then the first part can be added to the second part and it gets you the whole thing. So AB plus BC equals AC, okay? So my example here that I have, and go ahead and pause it and write this example down on your notes. My example is this problem here. So in this problem here, I have DE is one part, I have EF is another part, and then I have the whole entire thing. So what I'm going to write is DE plus EF equals df. Now all you need to do is just plug in what these things are. So de, as you can see, is the same as 3x minus 1. So we're going to write that, 3x minus 1 plus ef is the same as 13 equals df is the whole amount, so that's 6x. Now we're going to solve for x, okay? So I'm going to subtract 3x here and here. And at the same time, I'm going to combine these two terms. So we have 12 equals 3x divided by 3. And I get 4 equals x. Now, in algebra, you would have been done because you would have solved for x, and that's usually what you do for algebra. In geometry, you always almost always have to go one further step and see what they're asking for. Notice that they're not asking for what x is. They're asking for the length of de and df. So what we need to do is take our 4 and plug it back into what de is. Remember de is 3x minus 1. So we need to take our 4 and plug it in to our x because 4 is x. So that's 3 times 4 minus 1, 12 minus 1, which is 11. So DE is 11. Now we need to find out what DF is. Okay, so DF is 6x, 6 times 4. So that's 6 times 4 is 24. Now, Always double check your work. If this is 11 here, and this is 13, the whole thing should be 11 plus 13, which is 24. Is it? Yes, it is. 11 plus 13 is 24, so we know we did it right. Okay, so that's segment addition postulate. You may need to re-watch this a few times in order to understand it, okay? Next point uh, is using midpoints. Midpoints are the point is a point in the middle of a segment. The exact middle of a segment. So for example, if you have a segment, okay, and we have, let me get that hand out of the way for you, and we have A and B. The very, very middle of A and B 
If we say that these are equal, remember the little tick marks mean that they're equal, then this right here is the midpoint. So that means that this section of the segment is equal in length to this section of the segment. They both have equal lengths. So let's do an example here. So go ahead and pause your video and write down the example. Okay, now we have X, we're told that X is the midpoint of AB and we're told what the length of AX is and we're told that the length of XB is. So um, there's not a picture. Whenever there's not a picture, always draw one. It will help you out tremendously. So we're told that X is the midpoint of AB. So we have a segment AB, so let's draw that. We have a segment AB. So A is at one end, B is at the other end. And X is the midpoint. It's in the direct, exact middle. So now we're told that AX is 2X. So that's 2X. That's the length. XB is 3X minus 2. Now, a lot of students get all frustrated at this point because they're not told what AB is. AB is not given to you. So they think that they're supposed to do something like up here where you have the piece of the segment plus the piece of the segment equals the whole thing. But we don't know what the whole thing is. So we have to approach this problem a little bit differently. Instead of AX plus XB equals AB, which is true, but that doesn't help us. We're told that X is the midpoint, which means that it's in the exact middle. So that means that this length is equal in length to this length. So AX, let's do it over here, AX is equal to XB. So when we plug it in, 2X is equal to 3X minus 2. Now it's just a matter of solving for X. So when we minus 3X from both sides, we get negative X equals negative 2. Divide by negative 1, you get X equals positive 2. Notice that's not what we're trying to find. Remember I told you in geometry, you always go one step further. So you set up the problem. This is the algebra piece, or sorry, this is the geometry piece, setting up the problem. Then you've got to do a little bit of algebra. Now we have to go back to geometry. And in geometry, when we go back to geometry piece, you plug whatever you got in for x into what you're trying to find. So ax is 2x. So 2x equals 2 times 2, which is 4. Now we're going to plug it into the other side. 3x minus 2 equals 3 times 2 minus 2, which is 6 minus 2, which is also 4. So ax is 4, xb is 4, which means that ab has to be 8. Always double check. Are these two equal to each other? Yes, they are. Okay, so we know we did it right. So those are some problems on how to use segment addition postulate and how to use midpoints. Now we're going to move on to some constructions. So for construction, you need to make sure that you have a compass and you need to make sure that you have a straight edge of some sort. Now a straight edge can be a, um, uh, the edge of a paper uh, or like an index card if you don't have a ruler. Uh, it does not have to be a protractor, but protractors are nice because we'll use them later for different things when we measure angles. So it's always good to have one handy. So I'm going to change my paper here. We're going to do two constructions. We're going to construct a congruent segment, and we're going to construct a segment bisector. So a congruent segment, what does that look like? Well, I'm just going to draw a segment. I don't care how long it is, just some length. It doesn't really matter how long it is. And we're going to call this segment AB. Now, I want to make a segment that's equal in length to this one. But the trick is, in constructions, I don't measure with a ruler. Instead, I measure with a compass. Compasses are the measuring tools in constructions. So, in order to copy this segment, I'm going to draw another line 
that it, I know is going to be longer than the one I'm trying to get. I'm going to call this side C. Now remember I told you that this was my measuring tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my compass so that it's exactly the same length as AB. Then I'm going to take the point of the compass over to C and I'm going to draw a little arc that tells me that this is where my point should be. Now I know that AB is equal in length to CD is congruent, so segment AB is congruent to segment CD. Okay? So, what I would suggest doing is rewinding this part and trying it a couple more times. Okay? After you've tried that a couple more times, let's move on to segment bisector. A segment bisector is finding the midpoint. So I'm going to draw a segment. It does not matter how big my segment is. Any length will do. My segment here is AB. Now I want to find the bisector. I want to find the exact middle. So what I need to do is I need to take my compass and I'm going to open up the compass. So you, sometimes it's closed. I need to open up the compass so that it is a little bit past halfway. Okay, so somewhere close to A but, you know, past the middle point here, because I'm trying to find the middle point. So I'm going to put my compass point on B here, and I'm going to draw a large arc using my compass. Now, I'm not going to change the size of my compass. I'm going to keep it the same size, but I'm going to move my point from B over to A. And then I'm going to draw another arc like that. Now, at this point, you may need to rewind and rewatch this a few times until you get it. Now I have two arcs. This arc here is the same distance from A as this arc is from B. So I know that they're equal, these arcs are equal in length because I measured it with my compass. Now I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to go from point to point and go through. This point is the midpoint. Let's call it point M. That means that AM is congruent to segment MB. Okay? Please rewatch this a few times so that you can uh, get some so that you can become under, become really good at these constructions. Okay, see you next time.